Hi, I'm Robert, and I'd like to say welcome to the forum. Now that you found the forum, hopefully you'll register and become a member, and then go through different things on the forum to learn more about your brand of car, meet other automobile enthusiasts, and participate in sorting through problems or concerns that you may have with your vehicle. Now that you've probably registered into the forum and became a member, there's a couple things that you want to do. One of the first things you want to do is find the part of the site that says user CP. That means control panel. When you go to your control panel, you can do things like put the type of car you have in the garage. But one of the most important things I like to pe for people to do is to edit your signature. When you edit your signature, what you do is you put your type of vehicle and other information that you want people to know about yourself or your vehicle there. And anytime you make a post, your signature will appear on the post. So if you have a question about your vehicle, people don't have to guess things about your car. Like here, I have that I have a 95 850 T5R wagon. It's my daily driver, and I could put my mileage there and other important information there that I want people to know when it comes to talking about things that I need to do to my car or things that my car has, like a turbocharger or a recent tune-up and things like that. Once you enter in all of your signature information, you can save it and go to another part of the site that talks about avatars. Avatar over here on the left is actually a small picture that normally accompanies most of your post. There's my avatar as the back of a car. So if you have a little picture or something or your vehicle that you'd like to put there, go ahead and upload that at this time. Another thing that you would wanna do is go to the form main page and then find the section that talks about new members. You got a new member area here. The new member area, let me say first of all, is not a place that you wanna post about problems that you have. Like here, someone has posted about oil pressure. The problem with the new member area and posting your problems there is, a lot of your enthusiasts very seldom visit this new member area. So if you post a problem there, you're very likely to never get a response to your problem. But what you want to do in your new member area, and somebody posted this today, you want to introduce yourself and maybe tell some things about your car. So when I go here to the new member area, I can go here to where somebody put new to the world of Volvo, and on that page, they listed their information about their vehicle. They did update their signature. They put a link to a car ad. And then I posted some information and welcomed them to the form. And you can see my signature there. So on the new member area, you want to do one of two things. Either you want to add a introduction of yourself to an existing new member thread or you want to start your own new thread and you click there new thread to introduce yourself and possibly upload a couple of photos of your vehicle like some guy had greetings from Alabama and when he posted he didn't post any pictures but he did post details about his vehicle, and I welcomed him to the forum. Now, if you came to the forum because you have a problem that you would like some assistance for, you want to go to the forum index, and then you want to go through your vehicle sections. Each one has a separate form, and find the kind of car that you have. When you find the kind of car that you have, you click on that, let's say you have a S70, you click there, and then you want to 
read through some of the posts to see if you can find your problem. If not, you want to select a new thread, click the new thread button. Once the new thread comes up, you want to enter the title of your issue or problem. Then you come down here to the body of the message. And in the body of the message, you want to put as much information as you seem fit to help people understand a little bit about your car and the problems that you're having with your car. Like here, this person put, he has a strange no start. You could put the title of your car, the brand of your car in the title. It'll help Google find it. Then he typed out a long message explaining the things about his car and the problems. Now he has no signature, so every time he leaves a post, he really should put the kind of car that he has that you see there. Then when someone comes along and reads this, they will um, post what they think would be a good solution to him. Now this message was left a couple days ago. I don't see that there's any reply to it so I'll go ahead and reply but again you want to leave your request for assistance under the type of vehicle that you have you do not want to post those in the new member sections now when you post about a problem that you have sometimes a mod may come by and change the title of the message and then they'll read what issues you're having and then people will come along and hopefully offer you solutions to your problems if they know what the problems is. We encourage people do not post guess too much of a guess solutions so usually you'll get uh, decent replies to your posts. Now you can also look down at each member's postings and see how many posts they have. Like this guy here his username is Boxpin, and he has over 2,400 posts. He may be somebody that's a good resource for solutions. This person here, RSPI, he has over 15,000 posts. So he probably spends a lot of time on this form. So you could come here, post your questions. Hopefully somebody will browse along within a day or two and have your solutions and that'll help you uh, maintaining or repairing your car. Now you need to understand and realize that this is a form that is not a paid service. It's a free service and other automobile enthusiasts normally come along and help you with your issue. So you want to avoid being arrogant and nasty if you don't get a reply within an hour or two or even within a day or two. But if you post your question in a proper area, you will usually get a response within a day or two. Now, if for some reason you don't get a response, it's okay to send somebody a private message and request a response from somebody that you may think has a lot of posts and may be able to help with your issue. Like other people that are posting in the form that you're dealing with your vehicle in. Again, Welcome to the forum. I hope you found what you're looking for, and I hope you're able to participate in this community of automobile enthusiasts.